good morning welcome back to another weekly vlog it's a very rainy monday today but actually i quite like it i don't mind it raining if i'm not going out i actually find it quite relaxing and it's quite nice that it's a bit cooler today so i'm making the most of it um i was getting on all right this morning and i don't know what quite what's happened um i was kind of making good progress and then I don't really know I seem to I don't know the time just seems to have gone and I don't quite know what I've actually done um but yeah another week um got a couple of like more interesting things happening this week um so I'm going to look at another car tomorrow I think um and then on Friday I'm gonna go to the zoo with my mum and dad and I'm meeting my friend Lydia there um it's going to be my first like proper like trip out like pr like big trip out um obviously i've done like hospitals and i've done um like a few walks and also been to like car showrooms but i feel like the zoo is like a proper trip out um so i'm a bit nervous about it but i'm also quite excited about it because i love the zoo um it's meant to be quite hot that day so i'm not quite sure how well i'm going to cope but hopefully it'll just be nice to go out and do something that feels like relatively normal um you have to kind of pre-book and everything like that which we've done um and yeah so obviously i will film that and take you along with me um but apart from that it's just another week of being at home not doing a huge amount apart from those two things we've got noah on thursday um so like it's the school holidays now so lisa's not um working at school anymore but we've decided to keep having Noah for one day a week just so that he doesn't like get out of the routine of you know coming here um, and also just to give Lisa a little bit of a break because I think my brother's going to be away with work quite a lot so it just gives her a little bit of a breather as well and it means we can see Noah as well so it's quite nice um, and yeah that's pretty much my week I think obviously I'll talk you through it as the week goes on um, but I've just put up a weekly vlog that I finished editing yesterday and now I'm going to get started with editing another one. I want to try and get a decent amount done today because tomorrow I don't feel like I'm going to get much done. I don't, well, actually I don't think I'm going to get anything done blog wise. Um, Wednesday, oh, I've got a meeting in the morning, so I'm not sure how much I'll get done then. Thursday we'll have Noah and then Friday is the zoo, so I kind of want to make good progress today. That is the plan. You're nice and comfy there, Lenny. <laughs> I do love this cat. <laughs> Sleeps in the funniest positions. Bless him. Good afternoon. It's a bit later now. I've had some lunch, did some editing this morning. Got a reasonable amount done. Um, didn't get it finished but then I didn't kind of expect to get it finished in one day so I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I had my lunch. I had a text from my GP. Um, she had contacted my POTS specialist up in London um, about some of the weird symptoms that I'm getting. So like the breathlessness and the swelling and various other things that seem to be kind of related to that. Um, and he has got back to her and said that he can't like do an urgent review because that's not how um their pots clinic works so basically they will see you like once a year and then it's kind of up to your local um cardiology team to kind of manage you in between um which i pretty much knew actually but i could kind of hope that i don't know they might have been able to do something um he's recommended um another blood test for my gp to do which is looking it's called a bnp or something i had to google it because i had no idea what it was but it's something to do with a, a hormone or an enzyme or something like that that your heart um it's like related to your heart basically um so i need to have that blood test done so i've made an appointment to have that done and then my gp wants to talk to me um, once I've had the blood test results, um, obviously we'll see what the blood test results are, um, but she also just wants to talk to me about um, like what my pot specialist has said. I think, like looking, I've had a look on my patient access and it looks like she's referred me to the local cardiology team. Um, 
so I don't know if I'll have to see them at some point or talk to them at some point. Um, but yeah, it would just be good to work out what is going on. Um, I mean, in his letter, he said that he, like a lot of people with POTS, get dysfunctional breathing, which is what I've, I've already... I already got tested a bit back and they said that I had this functional breathing and I saw a respiratory physiotherapist and I do try and do like the, the physio for it and stuff but I don't know like because I'm waking up in the night like feeling breathless as well so would you I don't know would you breathe dysfunctionally in your sleep I don't know I don't know quite know how that works um but he did say that obviously it was important to kind of check for other stuff that could be causing it before you just say oh it's just dysfunctional breathing so at least that's good at least he's kind of saying to look into it before you sort of put it all down to that and also I don't think dysfunctional breathing would cause swelling in my legs either so I guess we need to kind of just understand what's happening with that so yeah I've got to go and get the blood test next Monday and then I've got an appointment the week up well a phone appointment the week after to talk to my GP which is actually the first time since February probably that I've been able to um, like pre-book an appointment with my own GP um, every other time it's had to be like you had to do an e-consult or um, I think I don't know was it recently they said they were only making appointments for like um, that week although I think that was just for like blood tests and stuff um, but yeah, it's been e-consult and then, well, pretty much every time I've done an e-consult, I've had a different doctor um, call me, which, I mean, the, the e-consult thing has been really good. It's been really quick, um, like a quick way to speak to a doctor because you fill in an e-consult and within, I'd say 24 hours, but it says 24 to 48 hours, you hear from a doctor, they give you a ring and talk to you and then like decide what needs doing so it is it's a really good system um the only thing is that i have not been able to speak to my own gp um the, the first time i spoke to her was last week when she rang me out of the blue um <clears throat> she has texted me a couple of times during lockdown but yeah i'm like i'm just really excited that i can book an appointment to speak to her in person because I haven't been able to do that since February and I think anyone that's got any kind of like chronic illness or anything will understand that you know you just want to be able to speak to your own GP the person that knows you and knows your history and you don't have to kind of try and explain everything and you've already got like a plan with and things like that so yeah it's I'm really glad that I have actually been able to get an appointment to speak to her, which is good. I don't know whether it's because she's requested it. I don't know whether I could ring up and ask for an appointment um, at the moment, but you know, I'll take I'll take what I've got, what I've got. Um, so yeah, we'll see what that blood test says. I mean, I just feel like it's going to be another one of those things where all the tests seem to come back normal and we can't work out what the problem is because that just seems to be what happens with me but we'll keep going we'll keep going and see what happens anyway i'm on the sofa now and i'm gonna have a bit of a rest probably a bit of a nap um i've got a virtual council meeting this evening so i just want to make sure that i'm awake for that because i'm feeling a bit tired at the moment so yeah i'm gonna have a rest for a bit and then um go on to zoom for the council meeting Good morning, not starting in my usual place today of my office, um, I'm actually on the sofa. I had a bit of a mix up this morning, um, my mum and dad's chiropodist came to do their feet and um, we had it in the diary that she was going to do my reflexology as well, um, but when she got here she hadn't kind of put it in her diary so there was a bit of a mix up which meant I haven't had been able to have my reflexology, which I was a bit disappointed about because I was quite looking forward to it but we we'll just have to wait till next time. Um, so yeah, I was up, kind of ready to go, um, which just means I've got a little bit more time, I suppose, to do some other bits. Um, in well, I've got about an hour. No, what time is it? An hour and a half. Um, well, roughly an hour and a half. Me and my dad are going out to look at another car. So this time we're going to the Volvo garage. 
I've never looked at a Volvo before actually, I don't know why I didn't think about it last time but it's one that's kind of come up on our list this time so we've got an appointment to go over there to look at a car for my mobility car <clears throat> to see if it will fit so we'll take the tape measure um, <clears throat> and measure the boot, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> we'll take the tape measure and measure the boot to see if it will fit my wheelchair in. I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed because it would be really good to be able to find something. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and do that this afternoon. So this morning, um, as I've got a little bit of time, I haven't really got enough time to go back up to my office and start doing stuff. So I'm going to sit here and do a few jobs on my laptop that need doing. Um, I need to do a couple of um, orders online and things like that. So I'm just going to get those done um, with the time that I've got. And then I'll need to have some lunch and then we'll head over to the Volvo garage. <laughs> Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself. Right, I've had my lunch. It's all been a little bit of a rush. Um, I tried to do my boots order this morning, and just kept having problems with the website, so I gave up in the end. Um, but yeah, we've had lunch and we're now heading over to Reading to the Volvo garage to have a look at the Volvo XC40, is that right? Um, so yeah, we've got the measuring tape and we're going to see if it fits, so I'll let you know how we get on. Or it could be someone else, no one's stopping me now. I'm going to skip my breaks, I'm going to make mistakes, I just want to feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can sitting with Alfie who's taking up most of the sofa at the moment um, we're just coming have a little cuddle with him because I don't get to have much many cuddles with him because I can't get down to the floor um, so when he's on the sofa it's a perfect time although I don't think he wants me on the sofa because when I came to like sit down he like spread right out um, yeah but anyway I'm sitting on the edge of the sofa um, so yeah we went to the volvo garage they were really helpful the guy we saw um we saw the xc40 which is the only one that they've got on the motability scheme and had a look at it measured the boots everything seemed good oh hello Yay. uh yeah everything seemed good we thought yep yeah, it should fit um, it was a nice car, it, um, we didn't get to test drive it or anything but I sort of sat in it and had a good look at it and everything and it seemed like a really nice car. Um, so we said yep, yeah, I think this might be the one. Um, and then he said that he would give the hoist company a ring to find out if, um, just to check that they thought that my chair and the hoist would fit in. Um, so he rang them and then um, they said they would ring him back in a few minutes so we went and we were looking at colours and everything like that and then they rang back and said that um, yeah it would fit but it's too heavy for the car um, it said basically the A-frame of the car won't take the weight of my chair um, like when it's lifting it up um, it will only take up to 75 kilograms and my chair is just over 100 kilograms. So, yeah, give it gutted, to be honest. Um, I kind of thought we'd found the car and, uh, yeah, we haven't, um, unfortunately, unless I 
found a wheelchair that was suitable for my needs and was under 75 kilograms then it's not gonna happen so yeah a bit disappointed on that front um because it would have been a really nice car and it was okay like an okay-ish price um but yeah it wasn't meant to be so now we're back to the drawing board again um so I'm going to make a list. I'm going to go back on the Motability website. I'm going to have a look at all the cars on there. Make a list of any possibilities. And then I think we're actually going to give the hoist company a ring and talk them through the possibilities and ask them if they think it would, well, not if they think, if it would fit um, and be okay weight-wise in any of those cars to try and save us going around like loads and loads of different like car dealers. Um, because we were at the Volvo place for like an hour and a half and you know the guy was great not gonna you know nothing against him or anything but you know it's a lot of time and energy to spend going and doing that at every single dealer to then find out that you can't fit the chair in so I think we're going to try and ring the hoist company and see if they can help us before we go so I'll keep you updated on that but yeah disappointed because I don't know, it's just so stressful trying to find a motability car that fits my chair in and we had this trouble last time and it was just, you go around so many different showrooms and you're measuring things and you get your hopes up and then, yeah, it doesn't fit or it's too heavy or whatever. So I'm hoping that there is a car out there that meets my needs, that fits my chair. Um, but we'll see, I'm going to keep looking. Anyway, I'm going to go over on the other sofa in a minute, lie down, play a bit of Animal Crossing, I think, and then I'll probably have a nap because, I don't know, today has just been one of those days where nothing seems to be going quite right and I just feel like I would be better off going back to bed and starting again. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just carry on. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to play Animal Crossing because that will cheer me up. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Um, I'm not in my office again, although I am heading up there now. Um, I started today with a Zoom meeting with um, the town clerk from our council and another councillor. Um, basically, ever since I became a town councillor, I have been trying to work on improving disabled access around where I live. Um, and it's it's not an easy job, there's a lot of issues. Um, and I kind of put together um, like a report type thing, I suppose. Um, I got a lot of like, um, I put out a survey basically and asked people to kind of report issues and I've kind of collated all that together. Um, and so we were just kind of having a meeting to try and work out where we go from here. I mean, we've worked on a few of the things that are on the list already, but we want to try and do like a big push to get like a decent amount of stuff done. So we've just been having a chat about how that's going to work and what we can do. It's not easy. Um, until I became a counsellor, I didn't realise how hard it was to get like such little things sorted. Um, I kind of just assumed, you know, like you can just go and do it, but there's so many hoops to jump through and uh, like things you have to do before people listen. And obviously I knew like being disabled that it's really difficult to get anything done. But I think, I guess this has just given me another perspective. Um, but that's not gonna stop us. We're gonna keep trying and hopefully We'll make a difference um so yeah had a quite a fruitful meeting um with them which was good i'm now going to head upstairs um because i want to get on with some editing um i'd quite like to get a weekly vlog finished and uploading today maybe start on another one we'll see how we get on um but yeah i need to like make make some good progress um i'm not going to have a call with my friend lydia today because i didn't know when this meeting would finish and also i just really need to get on with doing some editing um, but I am seeing her on Friday anyway, so it's not, it doesn't matter that much. So yeah, I'm going to head upstairs because otherwise I think if I sit here any longer I may fall asleep because I'm feeling a bit tired, so yeah, need to get on. Right, so I've got some editing done this morning, I've had some lunch and a parcel has come in the post, which is something that I ordered quite a while ago now. 
Um, I'd seen a few people um, post pictures of them on Instagram and then I found their Instagram account and um, yeah, <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't resist. Um, but yeah, I ordered it quite a while ago and they've got like a, I don't know how many weeks delay. Um, so I wasn't quite sure when it was gonna come, but it's arrived today, so it's been a nice surprise. And it's from a company called The Happy Blossoms. I'll link them below. Um, and I thought I'd open it and show you what's inside. here because I can't remember which ones I ordered um, but I went for a medium bunch so this is what a medium bunch looks like um, I feel like I went for a sh like sherbet macaron or something like that but I will I will check um, so these are dried flowers um, so they're like real flowers I guess that have been dried um, so they're not artificial so they won't last forever um, I think they will last, let's see how it says here, um, oh they're like, what are they, baked blossoms, so I think they're like baked, yeah, dried flowers, uh, so it says take your new display out of its cardboard box, <laughs> done, just about, place in an appropriate container, keeping the string tied, if required, cut the stems to fit the container, uh, important, dried flowers do not need water, Always display dried flowers indoors to keep them protected from the elements. Keep your dried flowers away from bright light, drafts, and away from condensation. Dust lightly with a feather duster if they need dusting. Temperature changes should be avoided to prevent humidity, which could affect your blossoms. Um, it doesn't say on here how long they last. I feel like it was like a year to 18 months, possibly. Um, but yeah, I just, I thought they were really, really pretty and I've seen quite a few people um, share their pictures of them and I just loved all the colours and thought they were a nice thing to have that would last a bit longer than just a bunch of flowers. So yeah, I'm really happy with them. I love all the colours in them. So I need to, I have got a vase which I might try them in. I don't know. I might be too big. I, what the vase might be too big. Yeah, I think the vase I've got is going to be too big, so I'm going to have a look out for another vase. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with them. They've got so many different colours in here, and they've got like these um, I can't remember what you call them, but they're like these like fluffy ones. Um, they do shed a little bit because they're obviously real flowers, <laughs> which I'm finding. Um, but yeah, no, I think they're gonna look really nice. I'm hoping to put them in my office just to brighten it up a little bit. Good morning, it's Thursday today, I think. <laughs> um, I kind of lose track of days at the moment. Um, fairly warm day today, it's gonna be even hotter tomorrow. I think it's meant to be like 32 tomorrow, which they've said is gonna be the hottest day of the year so far. And typical me I have booked to go to the zoo tomorrow um I mean I was hoping it wouldn't rain but <laughs> 32 degrees not massively looking forward to it um I mean I'm looking forward to going to the zoo um and I feel nervous about it as well but I am looking forward to it I'm just not looking forward to the heat because I think I'm going to really struggle so yeah I've got like I've just been rummaging in my wardrobe to find a hat and my sunglasses and just getting bits and bobs ready and obviously we'll take like lots of water and all that kind of stuff as well but yeah it's it's going to be tricky <laughs> um so yeah typical like you know most of the rest of the days around like now and next week are more like manageable weather um but yeah trust me to book on a day when it's going to be a blooming heat wave um Anyway, we'll deal with that tomorrow. Um, today we've got Noah. 
he has been down for a nap. I think he's just got up now and my sister's helping him getting sorted for lunch and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just getting some editing done. I want to try and get a decent amount done today because I really want a day on Sunday where I haven't got to do editing so I can do something else um, and recently I've just not been managing to do that so we'll see how we get on. Um, but yeah, I don't have any plans today. It's just a quiet, well I was going to say it's a quiet day with Noah. I don't think those two things go together particularly well. Um, but yeah, it's just a sort of chilled out day with Noah. Um, possibly just do some, I don't know what we're going to do this afternoon. Like mum was talking about taking him down to the park. Um, he's been helping my dad to do some various jobs in the garden and stuff this morning. Um, I said that perhaps we could do um, some like, uh, I've got some ingredients for making like Play-Doh, it's not Play-Doh but it's like you mix um, shaving foam and corn flour together I think it is and it makes like a sort of dough stuff. Um, so I said we could possibly try doing that um, but I don't know, we'll just see how things go. We've got no kind of commitments or anything so we can just kind of go with the flow and see what he's feeling like and what he fancies doing. So yeah, I'm just trying to take it slowly today because I want to make sure that I feel like as okay as possible for the zoo tomorrow. And yeah, that's pretty much the day. Nothing hugely exciting I'm afraid today, but hopefully tomorrow will be a bit more fun because I'll take you along to the zoo. Good morning. I was up relatively early this morning because we are heading to the zoo today. Um, we're going to Whipsnade Zoo, which is not actually the closest one to us. I think Marwell's closest, but Whipsnade is bigger. Um, and it's our favourite. So yeah, that's where we're heading. It's gonna be a hot day today. Let me get out of my bag. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna be a hot day. So I'm slightly concerned about that, but just taking plenty of water. I've got a big hat, sunglasses, sun cream, <laughs> anything I can possibly think of that will help. Um, and yeah, we're gonna head off, head over there. We're meeting my friend Lydia there. Um, Lenny, get out of my rucksack. <laughs> um, yeah, meeting my friend Lydia over there and hopefully just going to have a nice day looking at the animals, wandering around. I'm guessing a lot of the animals are going to be asleep because it's going to be so hot, so it'll be interesting to see how many we can see. But anyway, I'll take you along with us and hopefully it'll be a nice day. <music> We've arrived, we've met up with Lydia and me and Lydia are going to go off and my mum and dad are going to go off and so we're going to go and have a little look around and then meet up for some lunch in a little bit. When you're with me, let every way gently kiss away some of the hardness.
first day of spring And I just want to sing To everything that's moving Every single little thing To them birds flying free Fish in the sea Flowers and trees Every little bumblebee I want to sing Kids playing hoops Going loop de loop The rainbow colored bouncy balls And their ice cream scoops Got my shoes in my hand And my feet in the sand I got 20 ducklings in a row Like a little marching band And they sing To the couples in love And the seagulls above And any other living thing or creature I can think of I wanna sing Ooh, I wanna sing What if I would tell you that Things don't happen once, they always come back What if I could throw us back To the very moment when we had our luck Suddenly it's clear to me You're all I ever wanted, can't you see? To follow through in a game for two It ain't the way I want it Got to follow through
friends, they always come back What if you could throw us back To the very moment when we had our love Suddenly it's clear to me You're all I ever wanted, can't you see? Follow through Please excuse the absolute state of me. Um, we're home. Uh, we, well, I think we left at half five and it's now eight o'clock and it should have taken us an hour and 20 minutes. Um, yeah, just really, really bad traffic. Um, the, oh yeah, I think we just got stuck in like this one traffic jam that just wasn't moving for ages so it's taken us a long time to get home and I'm feeling shattered <laughs> um but yeah sorry I haven't spoken to you really at all today um I've just been kind of I don't know it's been really 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 hot I think it's been like 33 34 degrees um and I mean to be fair we were kind of okay where we were because there was a lot of shade um and also because it's quite high up there was a really nice breeze for most of the day hence why my hair looks like <laughs> a bit of a mess um so yeah it didn't although it was I mean it was hot there was no getting around that but um it didn't feel like too bad um not so, certainly not as bad as I thought it was going to feel um, but yeah, I was just, I was warm and my hat kept blowing off because I had like a big hat on, I had my sunglasses on to try and help. Um, and it, cause it was quite windy, my hat kept blowing off. Um, and also I was just trying to kind of enjoy the day. So I just tried to kind of film like some of the animals and things like that, that we saw. We were quite lucky actually, because I thought, because it was quite hot, I was a bit worried that we wouldn't see many animals, but we did quite well. Lydia sort of thought that 
I seem to attract the animals because like they wouldn't be there when like other people were there and then we'd go up and start having a look and they'd and like Lydia would walk off somewhere else and then they'd all come over like near where I was and do like funny things so apparently I'm Dr. Doolittle <laughs> um but yeah no it was a really really nice day actually um didn't feel too anxious because it, it's such a big place and they're only like letting a certain number of people in it felt really nice actually it was quite a nice zoo experience because it wasn't particularly busy um there were some queues like small queues for a few things like um if you wanted to like get get in to see like the penguins and things like that there were little queues but you didn't queue for more than a few minutes um so yeah, social distancing wasn't a problem around the park at all. Um, there was plenty of space. Um, and yeah, it just felt like relatively normal, dare I say. Um, I mean, you know, there was like, so there was sort of one-way systems. Um, there was lots of like hand sanitizer stations and all that kind of stuff. But it didn't affect us, us being able to enjoy the day um, or anything like that, which was really nice majority of it's fairly wheelchair accessible i'll probably write a blog post about it um there's a few bits that are a bit tricky but most of it's pretty good um and yeah just really enjoyed seeing the animals the only bit that i felt anxious in was that i decided um me and my mum me and my mum decided to go into the shop at the end because i wanted to find um see if they did a pin because i collect pins um and we also wanted to get something for no well for Noah and Maisie to have here and so we put like our masks on and everything and went in and they were limiting the number of people in the shop and there was a one-way system but people just didn't seem to be like following it at all um so yeah i felt quite anxious in there but we didn't spend very long in the shop so it wasn't too much of a problem thankfully um but yeah that kind of just confirms to me that i am not ready to go shopping yet because it yeah i don't know people just they had everyone had masks on and stuff but they just seemed to forget to like stay away from each other people weren't following the one-way system um people were like they'd like try and reach over you like if I, I was trying to look at something someone would try and like reach over you to look at something and pick something up and it was just yeah I was like do you not realize we're meant to be like at least a meter apart um but yeah we didn't stay in the shop long so that was not too bad and we got what we wanted i got a pin and we got something for noah and Maisie, so that's good and then yeah it's just been a long old journey home i'm absolutely exhausted and in quite a lot of pain but it was worth it it was a really nice day really nice to see lydia um gave her her birthday present and just had a nice chat and i don't know it just it was nice to do something that felt normal and although like you're constantly aware of social distancing and you know hand sanitizers and you know keeping clean and all this kind of sort of stuff it kind of it didn't spoil the enjoyment and it was nice to just do something you know get out and do something normal um so yeah that was my day i as i said i will try and put a blog post up um talking a bit about you know the disabled access and some of the measures that they've got in at the moment with um, COVID, if people are interested in that kind of thing. Um, but now I'm gonna go and crash out on the sofa. <laughs> I need to have something to eat. Um, and yeah, I will probably sleep because <laughs> I'm shattered. So I'll speak to you tomorrow. Good morning. Please excuse me looking a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, I'm hoping to have a shower this evening to wash my hair and make myself look a little bit more presentable um but yeah i haven't quite had the energy to do it just yet um yeah i've had a very quiet slow morning um trying to recover a bit from yesterday um i'm just yeah exhausted as predicted but i had a lie in and i've just taken things very slowly <laughs> um but yeah yesterday was a really good day um I'm glad I went it was nice to just get out and be out and do something that felt kind of normal again um, and also to see Lydia which was really nice and just to I don't know I suppose like 
to get out somewhere and to build my confidence up a little bit um so yeah no had a really good day and just gonna spend the next few days recovering it's saturday today and it's still quite warm but definitely not as warm as it has been i don't think it's meant to be like 10 degrees cooler today um although it still feels quite warm and sticky but definitely not not as hot as it was yesterday um i'm just getting on with some editing this morning i'd like to try and finish um another weekly vlog and get that uploading and then i think david emma and Maisie are coming over a little bit later on so i will hopefully spend a little bit of time with them because i haven't seen them for a little while and yeah it's just gonna be a quiet saturday i've got some posts to open downstairs so i can show you that once i open it but apart from that i'm not doing a lot today just just resting, chilling, recovering, hopefully having a shower and getting my hair washed and feeling a little bit more presentable but yeah apart from that it's just going to be a quiet Saturday. Right so I've got some editing done and I've had some lunch, David, Emma and Maisie came over for a little bit so we spent a bit of time with them, um, Maisie is just, she changes so quickly, like every time you see her she's doing something different um, so it's really nice to see them for a bit. Um, I'm just going to open, I got a boots order, which weighs a ton, um, so I thought I'd just open that, I mean a lot of it's not very interesting but I'll show you what's in there, um, I've got a couple of other bits of post to open, I don't know if there's anything else to show you but I'll open it up and see what there is and then I'm going to go and have a bit of a rest on the sofa, um, yeah, so let's get opening. <laughs> interesting um so i needed to stock up on sanitary towels so these are the ones that i use uh they're the always infinity i just have tried well i tried these i think i've got like a sample or something of ones and tried it and i just found them really comfortable so those are the ones that i use so i've got the purple ones and the blue ones which is massively interesting um so that was like one of the main reasons that i did the order but i also needed a couple of other bits so i got some more mouthwash which is this one it's the colgate flax gentle care with zero alcohol um no i don't get this because it's pink although that did draw me to it originally um i just like the taste and yeah it makes my mouth feel nice so got some of that. Um, I also decided to get a couple of um, like incontinence pads. Um, this feels like too much information but I'm going to talk about it because it's a byproduct of chronic illness and disability. Um, but yeah I have bladder problems and um, at the moment I just wear liners and I'm finding that they're not really doing what they need to do and so i thought i'll have a look and i'll just see what they've got a lot of the like incontinence products like i was looking at like tenor and um various other like things like that i couldn't believe how expensive they are um <clears throat> and you didn't get many in a pack so you were going to be spending a lot of money trying to get stuff like that and i also looked at you can get like the um incontinence pad, uh, pants so it's just like they look like a pair of uh, underwear that you pull up again they're not very cheap so I don't really want to go to there I mean they they look nice and they look comfortable but they're not very cheap so I found a couple that weren't too expensive and thought I'd give them a try they're always as well because that's what I found that I seem to like the look of um, and I got two different ones just to see what they're like um so i went for the always discreet for sensitive bladder uh normal ones which look like this i don't know what they're going to be like um i can let you know if uh, you want to know what they're like um 
but yeah so i got the normal ones and then i also got the long ones just because i wanted to see what the difference was in which ones i preferred if either of them um but yeah thought i'd just give them a go i think these were on offer actually as well which is another reason why i bought two packs uh, you get 20 in that one and 24 in that one and it says it has rapid dry and odor lock um, I think that's probably about not as much as I can tell you about these. There's not a huge amount to say about the confidence pads. Um, oh, it says it turns liquid to gel, stays in place, and has protective leak guards. So we'll see if they do the job. If not, then I'll try something else. But I thought I'd start with those. Um, and then the other things are slightly more interesting. So um, I needed some more hand wash. Ooh, excuse me. Um, well, I've just moved on to my last um thing of hand wash so i like to have one in my drawer for like when i get to the end of that one so that i don't run out and forget um so i've got this one which is by bayless and harding beautycology and it is coconut and watermelon obviously i couldn't smell it because i got it online but it sounded nice um so this is what it looks like it's got a little like mermaid on it and i thought it sounded quite tropical so oops, sorry. Oh, mum thinks i gave this for her to have christmas for a shower as a shower gel yeah it smells quite nice i don't know i'm struggling to smell coconut or watermelon in that but it smells quite nice anyway um and it looks really pretty as well so we shall use that anyway there's plenty more to choose so when i next need another one i'll try something different um so yeah i've got that and then I've got this which i don't actually remember ordering okay slightly confused it is the soap and glory cleaner colada hydrating body wash i definitely did not order this um, I mean, I was looking at some of the Soap and Glory things, but I don't remember putting one in my basket. Um, I need to have a look because I... No, I only ordered one hand soap. So I don't know why I've got this one. It says it's uh, a moisturising and refreshing blend with coconut fruit and green tea extracts for an invigorating bathroom experience. I don't know why I would have ordered this because I don't need any body wash. I have plenty to be using up. Um, so I need to have a look at my receipt. I mean, it smells quite nice. And I like Safe and Glory, so I mean, it will get used, but. You're having trouble with your order. I was having trouble with my order, but I don't, I don't remember ever putting, even putting this in my basket. <laughs> anyway, this is what it looks like. Uh, I mean, I, I think I was looking at this range, but I didn't, I didn't put anything in my basket, so I don't know. Maybe I've just got a, a little bonus. Um, and then the last things that I got were a bit of a an impulse buy because I spotted one and thought it sounded nice. Um, I decided to get some tissue masks from Garnier. I have got one already, which I haven't actually used, and I thought if I get some more, then it might encourage me to actually use them and have a little bit more pamper time, because I found since I've stopped having baths, I don't really do any kind of like pamper, like skincare type. I mean, I do like, I try and do like a skincare routine, but I don't tend to do like, you know, like face masks or, things like that because I always used to do that when I had a bath whereas now I'm having a shower it's much more functional it's like have a shower do what I need to do and get out um and I thought these would be quite easy for like if I can't get to a sink or anything necessarily so I got three because they were on three for two I think um this is the one that I saw originally that made me decide to get them it is the Garnier Skin Active Nutribomb Milky Tissue Mask says it intensely nourishes and glows. Uh, one mask equals one week of hyd hydrating serum, and this one is for dry and dull skin, which 
I mean, my skin has been quite dry recently, so I thought this might be quite nice. And it's got coconut and hyaluronic acid, and it looks like this. I will link everything that I can below, so if you're looking for any of these, hopefully that'll be the easiest way to find them. Um, so I've got that one, and then because it was three for two, I thought, okay, why not? So I then got this one, which is the Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask. Super hydrating and glow reviving. Um, this is for dull skin and it's got Sakura Sakura, and hyaluronic acid and it's pink. And my phone is telling me to take my medication. Do that in a minute. Um, yeah, so this is this one, which sounds quite nice. And then the last one that I got was this one, which is another moisture bomb one. Um, and this one is super hydrating and anti-fatigue, which I definitely need. This is for tired skin and it is lavender and hyaluronic acid and looks like this. So yes, I'm gonna definitely like, I don't know, make more of an attempt to do a little bit of sort of self-care because I've got so many, I mean, I didn't need to buy more masks, but I saw them and I just thought, I'm gonna treat myself, I'm gonna do something nice. Um, and hopefully just, I don't know, do something that's a bit more like, yeah, self-care and pampering. And also because they're sheet masks, I just thought they'd be easier if I don't, if I can't, like, I don't have <coughs> Ready? It'd be easier so I don't have to keep like going to a sink to like wash things off and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll let you know what I think of them. And I think that's everything. Um, I've got a little bit more place to open, but as I said, I'm not sure if there's actually anything in there to show you, so I'll let you know. Morning. I'm not feeling particularly great today, to be honest. Um, I don't know, I've just got a bit of a headache and I feel very tired and sort of dizzy and stuff. I think it's probably just payback from going to the zoo because I tend to find that it lasts quite a few days. Um, but yeah, I've just been taking it slowly. Um, I'm kind of trying to get on because there's things that I want to get done, but at the same time, my body's just not quite working. Um, but yeah, I want to um, get a video up this morning. It's edited and exported, it just needs putting up. And then, depending on how much time I've got, I might try and do a bit of editing to Richard and Lisa's wedding video because four years on, I still haven't done their wedding video. Um, my dad had a lot of the footage and I don't know, just never got round to kind of sorting it all out. So he's now given me quite a lot of the footage on a memory card. Um, so I want to get that onto my computer and then just make a start. I've done like a little bit of the first bit of their wedding video, but I need to obviously do the rest. Um, so I'd quite like to try and do a little bit of that today. Um, we've got Richard, Lisa and Noah coming around for dinner later. We're having a barbecue in the garden. So that should be quite nice. And yeah, that's about it for Sunday. I'm gonna light a new candle today. So I have got, um, it's a Yankee candle in wild fig. Don't know if it's gonna focus. There we go. It's got this one, so we'll see what that's like. I don't know. From what I can smell, you are very out of focus. <laughs> From what I can smell, it smells quite nice, um, quite fruity. So that's my kind of favorite scent for candles. They're like fruity ones. Um, so yeah, gonna light that and try and get on with some bits on my computer before I have some lunch. Good evening, please excuse me looking a bit worse for wear. I don't feel particularly well today. Um, I've just had a headache all day and all I really wanna do is sleep, <laughs> which isn't great, but um, I got a video up this morning and did a bit of editing on Richard and Lisa's video. Um, and then Richard, Lisa and Noah came over this afternoon and we've had a barbecue for dinner, which was really nice. I did have to come and lie down for a bit while they were here because I just got to the point where I was like, I can't, <laughs> I can't do anything else. My head was hurting too much and I just, I needed to just shut my eyes for a bit, um, which did seem to help a little bit, but my headache seems to be coming back again now, which is frustrating. Um, but yeah, they've gone home now and I'm just playing on Animal Crossing. Um, there's been a new update in the last 
couple of days um which has got a few different things in so it's now got um a dream suite which i haven't had to go on yet and um they're also doing fireworks shows every sunday so i've gone on it now to watch the fireworks and i thought i'd just show you um a little bit about what's going on um i won't show you the dream suite today i'll probably do that another day but i'll show you the fireworks and yeah what happens with all that um so yeah that's my plan and then i'm just gonna have a quiet evening um and probably try and go to bed early <laughs> that's the plan we'll see if it happens but yeah let me let me show you a bit of animal crossing because i haven't done that for a while right so here we go it is fireworks um if i go let's go into the town center bit where there are pretty much all of the characters <laughs> that i've got in my uh, residence that i've got in my home we've got isabel out on the street um i'm trying to work out how to best hold this so you can see it because it's a bit dark um so yeah isabel's come out of her residence services and she's got some little party boppers on her head which are quite cute we've got various residents standing and looking up and clapping we've got red here who's got um, a stool which I think is like a raffle which I will have a go at in a minute um, the only resident I think that isn't here oh, actually no, Flora's not here but also I think Vladimir is in his home because it's actually his birthday um, so I'll go along to his little party in a minute and show you that um, but let me just look up at the sky and I'll show you the fireworks because I've been kind of mesmerised by watching them and they're just really pretty. Right, I've actually moved around resident services because you couldn't see them particularly well. But yeah, here are the fireworks. You get like all sorts of different ones. So I will just show you <laughs> a few of the different ones. So you get some that go down like that. You get some that are just like standard fireworks. And then you get some that, there you go, that go all like fizzy and crackly as well. And I could actually just sit here for ages and watch these, they're so pretty. Right, this isn't the easiest thing to do, um, to play and film at the same time. I should really get like a tripod or something, but I haven't got one at the moment. Um, I'm going to have a go on Red's Raffle and see what it's all about. So, oh look, he's got a sparkler, how cute. Looks like he's about to burn me. <laughs> <laughs> he has given me a sparkler actually I'm going to play with that in a minute um, but let's see what Red's got to offer Yep, let's have a go. Pink balloon, yay! <laughs> I mean, she is dangerously close to that firework, but never mind. What do I do with it now? <laughs> I think I guess I have to put it in the bin. Okay, so we've done Red's raffle. Now I'm going to go and talk to Isabel because I think you can, um, like, make your own fireworks. So I'm going to give that a go. All right, let's have a little chat with Isabel. I think this is the first time that she's come out of resident services and I do love her little dooley boppers on her head. Let's see what she's got to say. Oh yay, I get star boppers too.
Oh, here we go. Yeah, so you can choose fireworks. So how do you... Okay, so you have to go and make a custom design, I'm guessing. I mean, let's just see if this will work. I mean, this is just the aeroplane flag. I don't really have any custom designs yet. I haven't quite got the hang of that yet. Oh no, there we go. Yay! Oh, that's cool. So you could pretty much do any kind of firework you wanted. Right, I realised that I forgot to show you the sparkler that I had won. So I've got the blue sparkler in my hand. I think if I press A, it will sparkle. So let's give it a go. Yay! Oh, that's so cute. This is by far one of my favourite updates so far. I really apologise if you're not into Animal Crossing because this whole section would probably just be not very interesting to you. Um, but it makes me happy and I thought I'd share it because I know there's a lot of Animal Crossing fans out there. Um, so yeah, I hope you don't mind me <laughs> just going off on a little Animal Crossing tangent. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's go see Vladimir and help him celebrate his birthday. Okay, so this is Vladimir's house, the pink house for a pink bear. Oh, good, he has got a friend. <laughs> I just think it's really cute. They've got like a little party table, and he's pretty much been dancing all day because I went on first thing this morning and he was dancing then. But he's got like a little um birthday cake hat on <laughs> so I came earlier when I came to I went on to get my turnips this morning and popped into here and spoke to him and he was like oh did you bring me a present and I'm like um no so I had a look in my pocket and I had a mosquito so I gave him a mosquito and he seemed very happy with it so you know I guess that's something so apologies for all of that Animal Crossing going off on a bit of a tangent but as I said it makes me happy and I absolutely love this firework um, update. I'm really excited to try the Dream Suite as well. Oh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I shall show you that on another day. So you've got that to look forward to. Um, but I am going to end the vlog now because, as I said, I'm just going to have a quiet evening now. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. If you have and you'd like to see more from me, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell. That means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing at the moment, what you're getting up to, any comments on anything in the vlog. Or, and also let me know if there's any particular videos you'd like to see me do. I'm hoping, hope, yeah, I can't speak. I'm hoping to start doing sit down videos again soon um, because I've pretty much caught up. I'm getting there with my weekly vlogs. So yeah, do let me know if there's any particular topics or things you'd like to see me do. Um, I'm always kind of open to suggestions. Also come and follow me on social media. My links are in the description below, but I'll put my Instagram and Twitter up here. Those are the two that I'm mainly on Instagram, is, um, especially because I tend to update my stories every day, um, although I am on Twitter as well. So yeah, come and say hello to me over on those and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!